Are we ready to start now that we're all hyped because Don can ride buses? Don <laughs> knows how to sit on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> Do I know how to get the fuck off of one? <laughs> That's the important part is getting off the bus. We already knew I knew how to get on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clap. Hey. Hi. Hi. What's how up? Is- yeah. How is everyone? How are you? How What's are you? up? Everything's fine um if you is watch it, it though i know if you're, <laughs> if you're on our twitter you know that there's like drama in family stuff um there are so christmas we go back to christmas i made a vague status about seeing family and just like everybody makes jokes about family and I didn't mention what family, anything else like that, but a certain family member, group of family members said I was like saying shit about another family member. And um, my husband stuck up for me and like a good husband does. <laughs> and uh, he got ghosted uh, by, you know, his family. His family. family. Like, you know, possibly. Close like, to these links. <laughs> ghosting your family is so fucked. Like yeah. you're not gonna talk to them. Like at least say so beforehand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what? Like, the- like like there's nothing wrong with ghosting your family. Like there's certain circumstances that like that's cool and whatever. But like don't just do it out of nowhere. Just be like. I straight up let them know they're being blocked. Yeah. Be like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are no longer having communication. This is it. And like cut ties. But like out of nowhere. Right. Yeah. Because because you don't like their wife. Like that's yeah. <laughs> that's it. Um, I don't like your wife, so I'm gonna block you on social media and ghost you. Like that's, that's Yeah, that's the that's world's messed up. already on fire. Stop making it worse, people. Okay. But the problem is it's like Kyle is so sweet about it because, like, you know, he has autism and it doesn't phase him. Like, that's he's like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, you know what would happen to me if my sister, like, ghosted me or my brother ghosted me? I would be heartbroken. Like, yeah, even though I don't even, I, I don't know, like, we, I don't even think we fight more, but like, you know, like, it's we've had like a rough childhood and stuff and we used to fight all the time. So, like, if Natalie out of nowhere, decided you know i am pretty naggy with them i tell them not to smoke all the time so i would like still like them yeah. just ghosting me um it's not the same because so no, it's not the same it would be them ghosting me because kyle nagged them it didn't even nag them directly he just has negative feelings towards people who smoke, and he says it out loud i don't like yeah. people who smoke so um and then that na- that'd be natalie like ghosting me because of that without saying anything so i would be heartbroken so that's the situation i'm comparing it to yeah so (laughs) but kyle is completely like unfazed he's like okay that's their life which makes me more that that would be me though i would be the same way as kyle yeah i don't talk to my siblings yeah i don't care my siblings don't want to talk to me because they've been brainwashed by like like they're like my mom uh and i always say they grew up with a different mom than i did you know <laughs> physically it was the same person but they were different mothers i swear yeah. to god so yeah. it's like they're brainwashed by this person which is fine and that's why they don't talk to me and i'm heartbroken about it it took a lot you know and i'm always just like if they ever reach out to me i can forgive them mm-hmm. yeah yeah. You know, I might not be able to forgive my mom, but it's not the same circumstances because they blocked me because of other reasons and not because of my husband. Because everyone loves Chris. You all heard it at the wedding, <laughs> right? <He's Yeah>. the- <laughs> my whole family didn't say one positive thing about me, but talked about my husband. So, yeah. I think what's different between everyone's situation and just mine is I didn't grow up with my brothers. Like, I didn't have really that big of a relationship. So, therefore, it doesn't phase me that... I don't talk to them. And we're all, like, 15 years difference to an age, right? So we were never close really growing up. And so, therefore, it does not bother me that I don't know them or that they don't know me or my family. I'm just like, eh. Yeah. I didn't know you to begin with. Did that to David. What if David's family did it to him? I would shank them. (laughs) Individually. Yeah. Slowly. (laughs) 
Yeah. So, so like, like, but David wouldn't care because right, he doesn't. Um, care. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Like his brother already doesn't talk to him, and um, he doesn't care. He just does not. He's like, whatever. It is what it is. And he did grow up with his brother. So we're we're similar that way. We can just cut people out of our lives and just be like, eh. I think it's easier like when it's you versus when it's your spouse. Like you feel like yeah. you have to feel for your spouse. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so disappointed in these yeah. people. Like I just am so disappointed in Like behavior. I'm pretty sure if I was heartbroken – about my like siblings not talking to me. I'm pretty sure David would be like pissed, right? Like he would go on a rampage himself. So yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Kyle would probably be more mad if it happened to me. Like yeah. Yeah. If my sister or brother has just ghosted me. Uh he wouldn't really like do anything about it because that's not that kind of person. But he would be like, let's go get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Anyways. Yeah. Anyway, so Jessica, what are you drinking tonight? <laughs> well, uh, I I didn't have time to go to the liquor store, so I'm drinking Diet Coke poured into a cup. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a mason like, jar. Yeah. I, yeah, so I can pretend. I'm yeah. pretending right now. It's a fictional drink. It, it's it's a mocktail. <laughs> it's a virgin Diet coke yeah it's a virgin um, rum and coke <laughs> yeah virgin rum and coke so and if any of our listeners have drink recommendations i'm not very creative so uh <laughs> let us know your your cocktail recipes sonia what are you drinking i could probably use a cocktail recipe too um <laughs> i'm just drinking sprite and the rum <laughs> not a virgin <laughs> No, it is very penetrated. Penetrated? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's full of dicks. <laughs> I just want to know the opposite of virgin. I thought, like, isn't that like <laughs> it's it's a slut? It's a slut. It's a slut. Very slutty bitch. Yeah. No, you're thinking provocative. It's provocative I, rum and spray? Yeah. It's <laughs> Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Whatever Not it is, it provocative. I need, <laughs> I need other options because I drink the same thing all the time. So it'd be fun to make like, fancy. I just yeah. don't have time to like, no. like meal planning. Who the fuck has time for that? Yeah, so, exactly. <laughs> you have cocktail recipes, you know, tag us in them or message us or email us at opinionatedlushes at gmail dot com. Yes. Dumb. Um, See, I'm lazy and I don't mix my drinks. I just buy them pre-mixed. And right now I have the Orange Creepsicle Blast from Smirnoff. Does it come in a bag too? Like last time? No, no, it's a can. And it actually tastes like the Creepsicle. I know. I'm I'm kidding. We had those growing up. They came in bottle form. Remember? We snuck them to the beach. Yes. Yes. But (laughs) this is like actual, actual taste like it. Like even better than those ones. Like, oh, I remember it was Bacardi uh, Breezers. That's what oh, you're thinking it was of. Bacardi Bre- yeah, yeah. Okay. It was a Bacardi okay. Breezer. It wasn't this one tastes better than that. that. Like, this better. is okay. actual, like, creamsicle. So it's dangerous. Mm hmm. Okay. But yeah. so good. It's so good. Mm. Okay. So we have a topic. Okay. Um, how many tabs do you open on your phone? What are they? So, <laughs> um, I'm looking. I, uh, I hope I close them. Hold um, on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Because I closed. Okay. So I went on vacation for a couple days because my husband's going, Tepno from last week is going on tour, a 17 show tour across North America um, next month. So I went away. Um, and so I closed most of my normal tabs, most of the usuals, because I didn't need them, right? But then I have now I have my unusual tabs open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, I just no. counted. Yeah. Um, I have 21 tabs. Open. Holy shit. Okay, you go first. Yours is going to yeah. take a while. I have three. <laughs> yeah. okay. So I have um, texting. I have my bank app. I have the school messenger app because um, when my kids miss school or if my certain teenager skips a class, I get a message and therefore it pops up. Um, I have uh, Goodreads. I have um, Snapchat. 
I have That's, TikTok. No, tab like um like yeah, Internet Explorer. Internet right? Explorer. Yeah. Tab. Oh shit, I only have 14 of those. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> and they're all Pornhub. Okay. <laughs> right? like, I gotta make sure. No, no, they're all Pornhub. Like, like literally? literally? All different videos. Yeah. Okay. Can you give us some like give us some like keywords? Like cream what's pie? in the searches? What's um, the tags? Maybe no cream pie, um, uh, amateur. Um, what else is there? Close up, um, from behind. Um, I'm getting a good picture. <laughs> yeah, are you? Are you? <laughs> yeah. Do you follow like certain <laughs> actors? Um, no, there was one I was following. Um. His name was Girthmaster. Girthmaster. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just I follow whatever was it, comes up. Huh? Was, was, was it? Was it like? Was yeah. It, oh yeah. Was, was it at least three fingers? Yeah. <laughs> like a at fist. least. Like oh, it was. It was this. Least, yeah. Like. Um. Wait. There's another one. Um. <laughs> Mr. P- Pussy Licker. <laughs> Mr. Pussy Licker. See, yeah. I found like no, no, Miss, Mr. Pussy Licker is my father. Like, <laughs> call just call me John. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, my glasses are fogging up. So anyway, is, is that all you use, like the browser on your phone? For? This is Streamyard, like. <laughs> Sorry, so 13 tabs is Pornhub and one is StreamYard. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I don't know how I'm going to beat that. Um, yeah. Okay, so I always... I still use Hotmail, okay? Don't judge me. I'm a millennial, okay? I use Hotmail, too. Are we not <laughs> yeah, I use Live. <laughs> yeah, no, Zoomers, like, make jokes about... You know, you can tell how old someone is by if they use Where are they mail. getting their email from? Gmail. A lot of them are Yeah, everyone's Gmail, Gmail now. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somewhere else. So my personal email is still a Hotmail. I've literally had this email since I was 15 years old. Like, it's just... I'm it, Too many things I have to remember. I'm not changing things. So I don't like the app. So I always use the browser to access my email. And it constantly is like, hey, do you want to download download the app? It's so much better, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, it's not. (laughs) Cancel. (laughs) No. I would switch over to Microsoft, though, because, like, every time I tried to do a Hotmail, it would switch over to Microsoft. Yeah, if you type Hotmail.com, it goes to Outlook automatically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. like that. But, yeah. Yeah. So I just, yeah, I use the browser for that. And then I always have our podcast numbers open so that okay. I can check throughout the day, especially on release days, like whether we're, anyone's listening to us. Um, <laughs> so if you're listening to us on a Friday or a Thursday, I'm watching. Um, and then um, uh, because my husband is going away for a month, I'm trying to plan a fun date night. Uh, by the time this episode's released, uh, he'll probably already be gone or about to leave. So I don't mind talking about it, but... Um, so I got a clone of Willie. Yay! <laughs> and I have the shop page open. <laughs> we have the same tab open. Is that pink cherry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so because they cl- right. Yeah, Clona Willie just got a uh, clone of pussy now on pink cherry. Oh. So I really? got I, yeah, and they're on sale right now. So I got oh. what so I got both. Because I figured it'd be a fun date night to like clone each right, other's yeah. genitals to bring with us. Like, well, I'll keep my like his, and he'll take mine on the road, which will be really funny for airport security. I think that'll be hilarious. Yep. Um, yep. <laughs> I would so, know. <laughs> yeah, you would. So, uh, so yeah. So that is those are my tabs currently. I don't like a lot of tabs open because then things get lost. Well, wait, wait, because the clone won't be metal so it's not gonna like disturb the security really no but he's bringing a lot of metal yeah he has to bring a lot of music gear and stuff like that so a lot of the times they like do like a secondary check on his suitcases and open them yeah so i'm just adding it to my cart (laughs) (laughs) 
I should scream for Dave and be like, do you want to clone a pussy? Well, it doesn't have, it doesn't look like it has an opening or anything. No, I think it's just for looks. That's but... just for show. You're right? just going to have to That's... cut it out. Like... like you can't turn it into a fleshlight or anything. <sighs> Maybe we could, you could buy a fleshlight and then like attach yours on top. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to see how the clone comes out and then see if it would work if like I bought a flashlight and then I could just like replace the vagina. You could get kind of like a tube. You could just see, like a paper towel tube. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fill it with something. <laughs> put yeah. some lube in there. there you like go. a balloon with like little marbles. So, you know, like it kind oh, of like feels. Oh, like the water, uh, wa- water marbles. Like, water yeah. beads. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, we're making our own. <laughs> Do it yourself, flashlights. Do it yourself, DUI. <laughs> it's a wet DIY. sponge. <laughs> Pringles can. Okay. What else do you have open? <laughs> That's all I have open. So it's your turn, Sonia, besides okay. Pink Cherry. <laughs> I have so many tabs open. It doesn't give me a number, it gives me a little. Oh wait, we're a little happy face with a D on it. Little, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, people, but it's not a number. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I have Star Trek stuff. I got Wheel of Time facts. I got Target. <laughs> I got. I got recipes. I got Recycle NB, which is like the province, Recycle for the province, Recycling. I got um, a TV show I wanted to look into. I have Three Ninjas. You guys remember that movie? I was, I was reading <laughs> <What>? into that. <laughs> um, I got Cheesy Mashed Potato Pancakes. Like um, the recipe? Yeah. Um... I have um, pillow princess uh, facts. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, first off, we I forgot to get a drink word. Oh, it's ice. Ice. Okay, perfect. Second, wh- what are some of those facts? Okay. Well, what is- <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? First off, what is a pillow princess fact? Like, just okay. First little backstory is I was playing a bingo game with Natty. She found when she was visiting, she found a little blink bingo game about being a top or a bottom. And I played it and I was like, I got like mostly tops. And I was like, oh, like it's hard to be like a top when you're a pillow princess. So a pillow princess is a lesbian term. Somebody who likes just laying there and starfish getting done. Yeah. Right. And all about them first, which is like, um, Oh, this is embarrassing because my family listens. Um, so- <laughs> if you're Sonya's family, tune off now. Right. Because it's too late. It's too late. But-, <laughs> but, like, that's how, you know, a lot of our sex is. Like, because that's Kyle's thing. He's a giver. And I don't mind being a taker. So, like, that- <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, he. The like, dream. I- yeah, I joke that, like, Kyle fucks like a lesbian because, like, he's a top. Yeah. <laughs> top. Um, so I just um, it was just so I had to show Natalie what it actually meant and so it's a pillow princess is a slang phrase um, that typically describes a woman of lesbian sexual orientation who likes to receive pleasure and achieve orgasm during sex rather than provide the same for her sexual partner <laughs> so like which isn't true uh, because I'm always giving Kyle handies you know, to get things, but I still <laughs> <always> do it. <laughs> There's always a cause. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bottom. So it's, yeah, it's just a, a sexual term. It has a history, all this other stuff about it. Uh, you can't see because my camera is low. Hi, I mean, uh, because I, uh, I'm not wearing anything. So you were just looking up facts about it? Yeah, I wanted to like tell, teach Natalie more about it. Um, but we didn't really get into it because we just stopped talking to each other. <laughs> um, I have oh stuff about the wildfires. Um, 
I have like I don't know. I have lightning crotch. <laughs> Did you have lightning crotch recently? Were you looking up symptoms or causes? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I haven't had it since I was pregnant, so I don't know. Yeah, that's a pregnancy thing. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's open. Um, I got uh, puff pastries. How to make it uh, sheets because I want to make baklava. Um, mm. Another eating thing. Eating so thing. food. <laughs> yeah. It's um, funny. I I close my tabs when I don't need them anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I have how many days until August twenty sixth? Is eighty when I had it open, it was eighty six <laughs> days, but it's probably less than that now. Um, I think you can close that tab. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, no. What if I need it later? <laughs> uh, oh, dandelion and butter recipes, watermelon rind jam candies, water, uh, Jim Bozzini. Oh, we were looking for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I haven't had time to like make a, a video. Um, if you don't know, listeners, we do a react series on our Patreon where we watch like old reality television and stuff. Uh, so far, that's been the theme anyway. And we just finished uh, Martha Stewart's The Apprentice and Jim Bozzini is on that. And he is a character. And so we we thought it'd be funny to get him on, but we're also nervous about our commentary. So. <laughs> I, want, I want to uh, make, make a nice uh, clip of it. We're all jokes. It's jokes. It's old TV. He has a beautiful wife and a beautiful life. So Yeah. Um, oh, board games, one I really want, and I keep looking for it, can't find it, Rescue Polar Bears. Is this as depressing as it sounds? The polar bears are dying. Uh, work stuff, work stuff, work stuff, work stuff. <laughs> Pigeons get rabies? Question mark. <laughs> question. Why? What was the answer? Why? It said. I think no. They um uh, no birds can't get rabies because their only mammals can get rabies. Perfect. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, I'm assuming oh, they can get bird flu. Probably. Probably. Yes. <laughs> um, the size of a twin bed. Uh. Dungeons and Dragon lore. Three ways to grow. Fuck, what is that? I don't know. I'm growing something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's all, lots of recipe. Oh my god, how to do a hard boiled egg? I have. That <laughs> it's hard. Uh, it yeah, apparently. Um, well, I don't know how to do a soft boiled egg. Like I. I time it wrong all the time because you have to take it out right away into an ice bath or else it continues cooking. Like that's what eggs do. And so um, I always do it too long. So it always ends up being hard boiled and not soft boiled. Yeah. See, it's funny because I have the opposite problem where I hard boil my eggs, but they end up soft boiled. I'm like, I swear it was enough. <laughs> <time."> <laughs> that's right. It's enough. I just get cowed to it. I have <laughs> um, information on deja vu seizures. Uh, because that's something I have a lot of and a few of my children have a lot of because I was looking up hereditary seizure stuff. Um, all about epilepsy. Thick, oh, Thick Girls Pull. We had a guest on uh, our Books and Booze. That's her book. Yes. Uh, the Dental Health Bus for Hamilton. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because I broke a tooth, yep. <laughs> well, you uh, can... Probably erase some of these. I think, I I know. think they're dated. I think it's we're fine. They're staying there. They're staying there. Garbage Island <laughs> for all intents of purposes. Remember, because I was doing it wrong, right? I oh, was like, right, right, I, right. I was making fun of someone because I thought they were saying it wrong, but I was saying it wrong. Yeah. Um, fuck, there's like so much stuff. Let me see if there's anything embarrassing. Let me go. Oh, yeah, I we have to hear that. Indigenous people from New Brunswick and what happened to them because there's like that's not a no history. Embar well, that's no, no, embarrassing, embarrassing to New Brunswick. Did you search yeah. up your cult? Yeah, I, there's nothing. There's it's there is a uh, it was not on there. Carl like, Weathers. 
what? I don't know who that is. <laughs> well, that's why you were looking it up. Oh, Feet Finder. Yay! Oh, yay! It's not embarrassing, oh. but. Okay, okay. So this week I went uh, on a fat retreat. Um, and it was basically like a body positivity, uh, three day, like two night, um, trip to like this, uh, resort. We were like the only people there. There was two other people booked. So we had like this entire resort to ourselves pretty much. Uh, the weather was kind of crappy and everything. Um, but I was telling, we were talking about, you know, sex work and stuff like that. And I was telling them about Feet Finder cause they didn't know about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is website where you can sell your feet. Well, quit um, telling them to sell their feet because I'm trying to sell my feet. <laughs> go, no, go in there to buy feet. Yeah, buy, oh, buy, buy feet. feet. But they want to attract buy. more buyers. Yeah, so, it, like, hel- helps the, it helps the economy. Yeah, yeah because yeah. It didn't, <laughs> isn't that what happened with OnlyFans? Like, actual couple of celebrities got on. And then everyone got on. And it attracted buyers. So that's why it's, like, one of the most popular selling websites All now. Right. I got peaches from Jack Black. Yes. <laughs> Oh gosh, book outlet. <laughs> yep, Matt Damon. Why am I looking at Matt Damon? <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's mostly all recipes. Oh, the Michael Jackson "Will You Be There" song. I got that one. Apparently, I just had a hankering one day. <laughs> it's funny. Lyric was doing Thriller like arms up kind of thing to like other songs and we were like where did she learn that and then we put on thriller and then she's like doing the dance and i was like when did you watch thriller before this (laughs) like i didn't put it on for you (coughs) excuse me sorry i'm joking (laughs) drink 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 yeah, it's nothing embarrassing. I just don't fucking delete anything. <laughs> I think that's my like my thing. Well, no, because I want I want some of these things. That's why. I'm like, that's why I need them. I need them. And- I almost feel like this is like almost kind of like our personalities. Like yours is things <laughs> you never delete because you're constantly, you know, holding on to it. <laughs> Don's is all smut. Yeah. <laughs> it's research. And then- yeah, and then mine's like, well, as soon as I'm done with it, I have to get it out of my head or else I'm not going to be able to keep keep track of it. So I have how to make wool from dog fur. That could be embarrassing. I don't know. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> yeah, it's all like, oh, Jurassic Park music you can download for free. So oh, like, is there? Yeah, it's called, I can send you a link because I have it. <laughs> I'll add it right here. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, it's it's grammar check, recipes, D and D stuff, homestead stuff, and random Google search of people I am never going to actually remember information about. <laughs> <laughs> I I delete it so I don't have stuff Domri has open because I actually use an incognito because we share a search engine with the family like when you search on your phone it goes to like computer and stuff like the whole family mm-hmm. yeah and i don't actually want that popping up on my kids feed so <laughs> that is why, that'd be a little awkward yeah that is why um that stuff isn't open because i delete it because well, that's, that's, that's the one thing you delete <laughs> that's the only thing i delete <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't want it to be shown in the world. Yeah, you know, I have mine literally as you like click on the web browser, it's the first thing that pops up. <laughs> Does it like it doesn't you don't have yours a family share, do you? No. Well, there you go. My- <laughs> <laughs> we did it like our internet is family share because we need to know what our kids are yeah. searching. Although they're all old enough to know about incognito mode too, which I'm kind of thankful for. <laughs> I, at least now we know like when Don dies we really need to clear her browser yeah history. so like okay I'm gonna put that in my will like if I die um you guys need to take care of my stuff like my laptop my my kindle okay no one should be looking at my kindle the, the stuff I've read um my phone like like all of it you guys need to just do my room you guys are in charge of my bedroom as well <laughs> Yeah, kids can't go in there. No. Oh, I guess if I die, I've already. I know. I I know the rules because I you told me. (laughs) I have a whole drawer 
that I need taken out a whole dresser, two drawers as a dresser. I need taken out of my room before my kids go through my stuff to pick what they I know want. you told me. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> well. <laughs> like I have to do it. My will and testament thingy is, and this is only if something happens between me and Kyle at the same time, because I'm sure Kyle will have the smarts enough to get Are you rid sure? Of it. I, you know, I actually don't know. He's not very smart. Like he's smart. Do you want to, like, like, have a reminder? Be like, when I die, have a talk with Don Marie. And then I will remind him. You can be like, hey, before you let the kids pick stuff out, remember you guys have a whole dresser full of shit? Yeah. Like, maybe just be like that. Yeah. Like, can you put that in your will, though? Like, at the reading and be like, have a talk with Don Marie real quick before the kids touch (laughs) your stuff. (laughs) Real quick. Real 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 quick. quick. It's been a 30-second conversation. (laughs) Just get it out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I I I don't watch porn. I I used to, but it's like I don't know. I just been like meh. meh. So it's like it's, <laughs> it's like I I can visualize things in my head better than I can what watching. So it, I used you know to do I mean? that. Yeah. But the problem is, is I get distracted and I'll start something and I'll set a scene in my head. But then, like, let's say, like, um, I don't know. But then, like, a grocery list will come up in my head and then I'll get distracted and start thinking about the groceries I need to buy. And then I can't because, like, so it's done. make it a sexy grocery list. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but I'll be like, I didn't Whip get bread cream. last week. I yeah, used to put that on. Chocolate. Or- Syrup. Mm. Yeah, but then I'll like, like I said, I'll think of things I'll actually need, and then I like sidetracks, or like I'll think of sexy maid, and then I'll be like, shit, did I do the laundry? Fuck, I need to like pull out like <laughs> you got. I need to switch laundry loads. I need to fold away. Like I just I get distracted. So yeah, porn just yeah. keeps me focused. It is the moment. I get that because I also depends on where I am in the house, like. If I have to, if I'm by myself somewhere where my phone doesn't get access to because it's in the shower, you know, I need to use my imagination. But if it's like in the comfort of my room, I use porn because I can get really distracted. Like there's too much. There's too much. You bring your phone this. into the shower? No, like, I don't. That's what I say. I don't. Uh. I was gonna say I can't do that either. Like, oh, I mean, the things I think you can get, like, you know, when you take your phone down river. Yeah, there's cases that you can stick to your shower wall and then put yeah. your phone in for music. I'm pretty sure they don't make it for porn, but like, <laughs> you could double it for it. But well, that's that's like saying like the foot pedestals that you can add into your shower to help shave your legs isn't yeah. for like having shower sex. You know, it, it is. Yeah. You just have to market it. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I I don't like shower sex. Because, I don't either. Yeah, no, we Water don't do shower sex places here. that like you know like it's great for you, but like no again because it just the friction happens too quick. Like it's like you're lubricated, but then the water gets in, and then like it's no longer lubricated. Yeah, it's but, different. Wet. It's not um, good. So, yeah. If you guys have ever seen my husband, he is six foot three, six foot four, whatever. And I'm a five foot five person. Um, shower sex does not work. Like the height difference, it like he would have to crouch really low. I have to That's get up on my get tippy toes. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, you still I still have to like raise, like, and then he still has to like crouch, and it's just it, it hurts. Like it just doesn't work. I love the idea of shower sex. Like it always like looks so <laughs> yeah. good in the movies and stuff. <laughs> and his guy is like jacked, and he picks her up, and she's like ninety pounds, and he throws her against the wall, like the tiles, and there's no slipping. Like <laughs> they, they have slip bats underneath that they don't show or something. I shit. know that's I what know. I'm saying though. So it's like when it like comes to actually doing it, I don't like it. But yeah. so sometimes I'll visualize it, and I'll be like, oh, put yeah. the hand against the steam <laughs> wall, and just, right? Like, just, like yeah. that. It's like that. Okay, so in my imagination, it's perfect. Yeah, it's why I read smut. Like, it's like it, in the books, it's great, but like in real it's life, like when you're like that works. Like you're baking a cake, reality, and then like nailed it, kind of. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. the, the bake the professionals, and then what comes up when you make it, 
yeah. completely different. Yeah. yeah, It's a fantasy, yeah. you know, like how many yeah. people have fantasies and then they actually find a way to like fulfill them. And then they're like, that wasn't as good as I That's- thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, like, sometimes, depending on the angle, you're plunging water into your bits. And then for, like, eight hours later, you're, like, dripping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not sexy. Like, it's, it ruins everything. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Anyways, that, uh, yeah. So, I, I don't watch porn. Wait, that was the. the that was yeah. the thing. Yeah. That was how it started. <laughs> that was the I just one. visualized real good shower sex. There we go. Yeah. But in. But don't, don't you get confused with like the reality? Like... No, I actually know the difference between my <laughs> no, imagination and the world. <laughs> See, I'm not like, that far in reality. <laughs> and like, don't you like get disappointed? Like, and then it ruins the mood. I'm like, oh, that would never work. So, but there's it's... like so many sexual fantasies that people have that they end up doing that like don't work. Like, you always hear that trope of like uh, the husband wanted a threesome. And then the wife ends up like either enjoying herself more or it just ends up being terrible because the wife didn't want it in the first place. Because the guy never knows what to do with two women. Wait, wait, wait. So you did watch porn. Did you have to have like where it was a storyline? Um, no, I watched a lot of uh, lesbian porn because I knew that they might likely be enjoying it, you know, versus like hetero porn. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They're not faking it. Yeah, you know. Um, or or I'd watch a lot of like masturbation videos because then I'm also like, oh, they're probably more enjoying it than straight porn. So when I so even when I watched porn, it was very like I needed them to feel like they were enjoying it. Like I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just always that's always just been how I, I was. Enjoyed, like the close up like where it's you don't see faces or anything and like I have the sound off because like I don't want anyone to hear what I'm watching. Do um, you not have headphones? <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, the sound's off and it's a close up and then I can imagine what they sound like and like I'm just like, yeah, that that so would you're feel like good. a happy half. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. You're just- okay. I don't. I don't masturbate to porn, but I have masturbated to people's voices. Is that okay. weird? Oh, <laughs> like the opposite. Yeah. Wait, wait, it's are just, they it's just, just talking the audio- normally, or were they talking sexy? Um. Sometimes they're talking sexy. Sometimes they're talking normally, but they like just happen to have a sexy voice. You know, and I'm like, oh. I don't know if I more. could if they're talking normal. If they're talking sexy, yeah. But normally, I I, I don't know. Well, it depends. I it just, it, like, I just, there's certain voices I, like, listen to, and I'm just like, hmm. Give me a minute. <laughs> I like listening to you talk. It tingles me. I don't know. I don't think that's weird. No, I don't <laughs> think it's weird. It's just something I couldn't do. I'm an audio sexual. <laughs> but, like, it's like not me. even, yeah, that's not even, like, sex, though. It's just words. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, but it turns me on yeah. <laughs> if you say them the right way. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever works. Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> you know, world's on fire. Do as you makes you happy. <laughs> it's so true. It's so sad because, like, I feel like we're in the middle. Like, we're not quite dystopian, but we're on our way. We're getting there. Yeah, and it's just like, I wish I studied more on the in-between. So far, I only know what happens once you're dystopian, you know? <laughs> yeah, at the end, the end result. Yeah. You get to the end. Oh, yeah. N- no that, one talks that, about the middle. That song, the song or TikTok, skip to the good part. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fire everywhere, smoke. <laughs> Uh, we <laughs> did an apocalypse episode where we talked about our makeshift podcast <laughs> yeah, <that we're> in <laughs> antennas and shit with you know so everyone can still listen to us in yeah, 20 years we have a plan <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll we'll make voices just for jessica so you don't have a good time oh thank you <laughs> I'm thinking of you. I'll, I'll do my best. Good girl. <laughs> Who's a good girl? She put the dishes away nice. <laughs> it's my best hand voice. <laughs> hey, hey, in the apocalypse, it might work. It might be enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, 
options. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know Chris isn't going to make it. We've right. been clear with that. <laughs> it's not even bad. You're just like, it's, it's just like, maybe you need to like grow your own food instead of going to the grocery store. And he's like, no, that's <laughs> it, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad, you, Jessica. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad talking shit considering who was on our episode last <laughs> week. Yeah. And he he's providing out. he's <laughs> providing two exclusive songs to any Patreons in June and July. So he's the good husband, but in the apocalypse, he's just not he's not going to make it. <laughs> he just doesn't want to. It's not the <laughs> he make it. He just decided he doesn't even want to try. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, I'm already giving up. It hasn't yeah. even ha- happened. I'm already giving up. <sighs> um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what was the topic? Oh yeah, our tabs. Yeah. Okay, our we tabs. can do the other ones. Dom rated windows open, programs open. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> he was. How much did you hear? Okay, we're talking about how you die in an apocalypse. Oh. Mainly because you just give up. I, I'd also die of talent because Tim Blunt doesn't think I have Oh, yeah, I didn't tell him about that. Yeah. Okay. He, so, um, quickly, side. Uh, that was the good husband just calling me out on my bullshit. Um, because he just, he's like walked by, apparently, he heard me going, I feel bad talking shit about him. <laughs> so he didn't know exactly what I said. Um, but um, Timbaland, you know Timbaland? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's not really a singer. He just like it has a, a backup singer that goes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's a producer. He's a producer. He produced oh. a lot of the big tracks of the day, um, mainly. And uh, yeah, so um, he has been going on TikTok lives, uh, and for like fifty bucks. You can pay to show him some of your songs, like join the live and show him some of your songs. And then he'll rate them or talk shit about you. He always asks how old you are because he'll judge you harder if you're older. <laughs> um, but all the time he's like, um, probably high. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, and, and he'll do it during the live. He will turn the cat, like, pass the camera to someone, and they just point it at the ceiling. And then when he comes back, he just <laughs> <laughs> and like everyone's like, maybe you should blow your nose and stuff. Like it's not. Anyways, uh, Tepno ended up showing some songs on there, and uh, he said his writing is dated, and he's probably a part-time musician. but he uh, uh, a bunch of people end up following tepano and a bunch of people are defending him in the chat going he has 1.7 million monthly listeners what the fuck you talking about yeah (laughs) sorry that you don't know what's in timbaland oldie anyways don't ask a boomer (laughs) for advice It's (laughs) it's not usually good yes but yeah. Anyway, sorry. I got distracted yeah. because all I heard was, why are you talking shit? Because <laughs> he was trying to scare me. So I have <laughs> photos open, Google Maps open, Twitter open, Messenger open, Snapchat open, Google open, and Facebook open. Those are what I have open. See, why don't you just close things if you're not using it? Right I was now? using... Um, I don't know. I well, Google, <laughs> Google. I can. I was. I was just went to all my tabs. Okay, so that's and Messenger. I was talking to Kyle. I'm closing them now. T- Twitter. I put a post. Map. I was looking where to go to a cafe. Uh, photos. I was looking at photos of puppies. Snapchat. <laughs> I was talking to people on Snapchat and Facebook because I went to see people who blocked people. <laughs> 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 yeah. Did we get through all of Don's tabs? No. <laughs> okay. Like well, you continue. It wasn't like. All right. Yeah. I... Now, now it is. Now it is. You were just okay. ahead of the curve. Okay. So I have TikTok, um, text, 
Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Goodreads, Google, uh, Instagram, um, Gmail, uh, Kindle, uh, Maps, uh, Facebook, YouTube. Um, I have no idea what the fuck this is. It's, oh, it's um, a Gmail website. Um, oh, and, okay, camera. <laughs> Uh, weather network, uh, school messenger, uh, calendar, and photos. You know what? Like, stream lo- StreamYard is working pretty good if all of those are open and you're still yeah. able to, like, record decent. You well, know? You're, though, it paused her video. While she was scrolling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. while I was scrolling. So, like. Because you, have, cause you use your phone. To do yeah. Because I use my phone. So Wow. Okay. I have uh the internet tab open Google. yeah instagram and messenger that's it that's it because i close tabs when i'm all done with it why would i keep I it just open? close them all because you like <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> all the tabs i used i used today like yeah, just I today i, I, I closed them like today. once a day and i use 21 in a day oh i yeah. close like as soon as i'm like done with it no, I do I end like, of day. Yeah, end I do end of day. Clothes. Yeah. When I'm like done in the day, I'm about to put my phone on to charge. That's what I do. It's a yeah. routine. It's a, my cell phone has a better bedtime routine than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Like it's like I'll brush my teeth, but I won't wash my face good enough, you know? Like it's just a brush my hair. Whatever I do, like I usually don't change. I it like too brush my teeth too. quick, but I floss longer. Then I brush my teeth. Like I, I really get in there. Water pick. You have to like the best when like you just like. It's okay, like I can't a, afford a water. It's like the a water washer. For your listen, teeth. I just get the the was it the Bic ones or Gillette or whatever whatever like the kit thingies and I just yeah. do the stick. I don't. Know. It's it's gross the water pick one because like you're like aggressively like and then like there's like your gums are beat up and then like your whatever's like stuck at the back of your mouth like food and stuff like comes out so like it's bloody old food they're like yeah yeah and if you have any plaque or whatever like comes out with it yeah yeah, it's gross but like in a good way like my teeth are good (laughs) i just brush my teeth i don't floss that's the it just that's always shames me. Uh, <laughs> I honestly like floss like almost in between meals. Like when I'm at home, I'll floss like because I, like I feel like things are stuck on my teeth all the time. Um, so I always constantly floss. But then I brush my teeth only like once or twice a day. That's it. We all have different mouth habits. I know. <laughs> I know. It's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think flossing is a scam. You think it's a Scam? No, it's not. Yes. <laughs> I think it's a scam. I have never had a cavity, and I've never flossed. I usually floss right before the dentist because I'm scared that they'll shame me, and they always do, anyway. Um, but I, I don't floss. I don't mouthwash. I just, uh, I just a brush. I just a good old brush. Which I means I think my teeth are falling apart. Yeah, <laughs> which means that's why I think flossing is a scam. I think it's mostly based on genetics and things. I think I think you're half right on that. I think flossing does, like because I I've seen like when I floss like the shit that comes out. So I'm like I don't think that belongs there. Um, I, so I think flossing you know, is important. It does, man. Um, <laughs> just keeping it as like a snack later, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah um, so I I don't believe it's a, a scam. I just don't think. Um, I think genetics definitely plays a role in teeth uh, decay. I think it just depends. Also, dietary and stuff too, right? Yeah, like a pregnancy. Smoker. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm like that. it's gonna affect I your teeth. Had too many pregnancies. That's what right? I had. That's yeah. your problem. Your kids sucked the literal life force out of your mouth. Yes. Yeah. And I haven't got them fixed yet. The problem is, I did try and fix them, and then they just fell apart anyway. And I spent so much money. Uh, dentistry is a scam. Yeah, well, scam is the dentist. Well, that's the thing. It's like because it's privatized, right? Like it's not like a, you know, it's public not part of funded. public. Yeah, it's not part of our public healthcare. So it's like the having good teeth 
is really like classist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> so that's always say people judge other people's teeth. It's always like, you know, in what way? Because they might just be poor. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not their fault, guys. No. I Yell at the government. Yell at the government. Yeah. It's just I think though, if I paid for a service, I shouldn't have to pay for you to fix the fucking service you did. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> if you broke it, like it's like no. If you didn't do it right the first time, you shouldn't have to pay a second. There should be like a a few months in that. Like I think it broke like four months after the one. So like they had to like drill and put a post in. And then they like whatever they did. And they're like, you need a cap on it. I said, okay, I'll come back once I have a thousand dollars, because that's how much one cap costs. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then like three months it broke. And they're like, you should have got a cap on it. I was like, but it shouldn't have fell apart in three months. So then I went to another dentist for them to fix it. And then it broke. <laughs> so it's like, I just can't. No. Well, yeah. The the only like dental procedure I've really had was getting my bottom wisdom teeth out because they were impacted and they had started growing in. And the dentist left a shard of my, the one tooth in my gum. And yeah. I would have had to pay to go get that taken out. So I ended up just pulling it out myself. And luckily, nothing worse happened. So I didn't have to go back. But I, I was like, they fucked up. Yeah. 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 I have that too. One of my back teeth, not a wisdom, but beside it, we got pulled out and they left a bunch of pieces in. And um, that was when I was 12. So I was like, oh, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. And then when I was like 25, um, after I had all my kids, I had all this teeth problems. I was like, well, I need this done too. They're like, okay, what's the priority? Because that's like $500. Like, you know, I was like, well, that's like, it. That's it. Just 500 and like, not a big deal. Like, yeah. Oh, that one's fine. Because I, I like needed like $6,000 plus. Like, yeah, it started off. So I was like, okay, we'll do that one last because, like, that's and yeah. then I moved away because I was like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not paying for anymore, and I'm sad. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's why, that's why I have a hundred tabs open because I'm depressed because <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke because of the dentist. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I mean. Well, it wasn't like dental eventually supposed to be covered or something. Okay, so I looked this up because, you know, with my kids and stuff. So there's a, now a dental fund for, in Ontario at least, I think, or Canada. I don't know. There's a dental fund. But you have to make under a certain amount. Um, And that's like even with dual income. You need to make under, what was it, $40,000? So we don't apply because... David alone makes like 63, 64. I don't know. Anyway, so we don't apply. And like, but my kids are the most expensive. Like, mm-hmm. especially Caleb, because he needs to be um, uh, sedated. And um, that alone is going to cost us $1,000 just for sedation. It should be universal. Like, I don't care yep. if like wealthy people also get free dental care. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. the lower and middle class also gets free dental care. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> the, the rich people, like, is a, a smaller number than the poor and middle class that it's like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> like, they should be paying more taxes and those taxes would cover their dental. You know, like, it's yeah. not. So I don't care. Just give people teeth. how are we supposed to eat without teeth like i don't understand and it's like been known the healthier your teeth are the healthier your heart is because like yeah the plaque and shit gets fucked up in your blood or some bullshit um i'm not gonna i'm gonna fuck it up but it has to do with something like that and um not just that but like if you have an infection in your gums it's going in your bloodstream too right and a lot of people that have bad teeth get infections in their gums yeah like a lot it happens quite often abscess teeth and all that it happens and that's what gets in the bloodstream and then it goes to your heart yeah yeah and so universal health care is like you you're paying into it 
but like you're putting a strain on the healthcare system because you're getting sick more often than because of dental with the people who have dental benefits, you know? So it's, yep. If we just fix it at the root of the problems, literally, quite literally. And all the people that I found that are like for privatized healthcare are the same people that'll bitch about the dentist or haven't gone in like years and years and years and years because it's so expensive. And it's like, that's privatized healthcare. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Like where you have to pay to get uh, a second look because the one dentist is trying to upsell you on like, oh, you actually have seven cavities when really you have two you know because yeah. like that's a known thing in dental yeah. offices and so you have to like shop around pay all that money out when it's like that's privatized healthcare, folks like yeah. if it was universal they would have no need to upsell you that's exactly Ugh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I just I <laughs> is that a voice that does it for you yeah, yeah. yeah. save it for the apocalypse baby All right, i will <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> and like that smooth jazz you like smooth jazz too. oh yeah i do i do <laughs> it's not even jazz. it's not even like a sexy voice it's just me talking like quiet <laughs> but I, I i i think i like like my women voices like that yeah. Like not so like soft. Obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soft spoken. Yeah. It's hard to get, you know, sexy time when you're like obnoxious because it's like oh, you know, it's like <laughs> that's not very sexy. <laughs> this is why I can't sweet talk, Kyle. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> You're I ruining like it. it. I like it when you're quiet. <laughs> you're, like, you're like witch. You better see not heard. <laughs> you're <laughs> that's why I pull over the head and just like. <laughs> that's why Don's throat is always full, so that yeah. he's not talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's why we always do it like from behind. He just puts my head in the pillow, like she can't hear her. It's all good. shut up. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Your voice is. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. <sighs> You're ruining it. <laughs> Anyways, tabs. Oh man, I feel like we went on multiple tangents tonight. <laughs> They're mostly yeah. sexual. It's like in the <laughs> sexual era and dentistry. <laughs> it's like those <laughs> like together. It was like I don't know. Maybe sexy dentist is your thing. Like maybe. maybe. I'm gonna write a book on about sexy dentist now. Oh, oh like, can you, like you finish like one book right? before you come? Yeah, no, I got all these books on the go. Like <laughs> like it always makes me think of predators though. Like when they yeah you and they yeah yeah body. I watched like, an uh, not- uh, law and or uh, a law and order that had that like where the dentist like took advantage of the patient yeah I never have like fantasies of dentists it's always like yeah crazy, there's nothing like, sexy about teeth okay there's, there's not, no if you're a dentist you are unattractive I'm sorry like that's just why don't you have it where the patient somehow seduces the dentist like. So that's not predatory from the dentist perspective right i guess yeah. yeah so you have to like flip it somehow but like the dentist still has to be like a turn on for you to like want to or make it the hygienist <laughs> instead of the dentist the hygienist maybe all oh, the boobs are like in your face yeah constantly. yeah i wouldn't mind it just like dunk, dunk. see <laughs> there you go there you go except for like it's really gross again. It's just like no, you, it's sitting just, everywhere. Uh, can you just uh, lay your tongue down a little bit and say ah? It's like they're just like grab it and just shove it over. Like, like she like, gently no, stroked my tongue. Like no, I've never had a dental. I because like my tongue likes to like glow in it. Like she's just like she's like stop it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like. A, like mad maybe it's like a bdsm thing <laughs> like she's just like no if we do end up coming for a visit we should like record this as a skit <laughs> <laughs> like 
one of us the dentist and like one of us the patient. <laughs> just, like, sexy dentistry, you know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. It'll be our first skit for our YouTubes. Maybe that That's, will attract followers. I don't followers. know if you're allowed that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just can't. It just has to be innuendos. Innuendos. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Not like. <laughs> No, thing. I wasn't actually gonna like suggest like a porno. Like, it okay, was just a yeah, oh. like think like <laughs> SNL right. or some shit. All right, got it, got it, got it. Okay, sure. <laughs> a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if we remember, because we're yeah. pretty bad at forget, we're we forgetting. Always, what we, talk about. we like always forget. I like, and I go back to like. It takes me a while to like re- listen to an episode and I'll like listen to it. I'm like, we didn't fucking do that. <laughs> like, oh, we lie. <laughs> yeah, we don't count on us. What are you doing? Uh, do we have any more? Uh... No, no. I'm just like crossing my legs because my bladder is full. I'm just like <laughs> patiently waiting. Does that Aww. help? Cl- crossing your legs? No, it doesn't. It puts pressure still like. I know. Like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't help. But I mean, if I, I'm like, I'm scared to like uncross and then like it just flows. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> look where you piss, honey. Okay. Yeah. Look, yeah, look where look you piss. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you guys. (laughs) Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Once again, I would like to thank Stephanie Hurst, our VIP Patreon. Uh, If you want your name shouted out here, you can join our Patreon link in the description at the highest tier. But all of our uh, bonus stuff is all accessible even at the lowest tier. So uh, check that out as well as uh, Tepto, our guest from last week, the good husband. Um, we'll be uh, giving two exclusive unreleased Tefno songs to any patrons uh, in June or July. So uh, at any yeah. tier. So yeah, you can get those just by joining. Woohoo! Mm-hmm. Bam! <laughs> yeah, we're done. Do we have anything else to plug? No. 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 Wow, we don't have ten things on the fucking go anymore. <laughs> no, but you know what's on the go? My us. bladder. My bladder's on okay, the go, okay. you guys. <laughs> Uh, everyone have a good night. Uh, I hope you close your tabs, uh, especially this one before Dawn clo- opens her bladder. I guess you don't close your bladder. <laughs> <That's so laughs> I don't funny. know where I was going with that. I was just hoping the words would flow together like pee. Uh, anyways, have a good night. Good night. Good night.